year ago, I was paying £165 a month for gas and electric. And compared to that, I'm paying £400 a month now. And nobody has budgeted for a 100% increase. And I think it's a part of a country, it isn't on the map for the government anymore, and they've forgotten about it. The millionaire job in, in, in those days, you got a job in the pits. Or you worked on a pot bank, which was dry, dusty, dirty, heavy, heavy work. The money's always been low paid in Stoke-on-Trent. Stoke-on-Trent has the second highest uh, proportion of households actually living in fuel poverty in England. Uh, and many low income households um, occupy um, energy inefficient properties, unfortunately. So gas and electric a year ago was £54 and now it's £232. What are your worries for October when uh, if you're, you know, energy costs go That we're not going to be able to afford everything. <laughs> Is my direct right debit? Yeah. Online take my cash. So the price is going high, it increased and he send me letter all the time. Go back to my house, I can stand on, which is a brick house, but I can stand on our landing and we supposedly got double glazing. We're on a windy day, the wind comes through and you have to keep looking up because you think the wind is open because you can feel it that much. Well, it is a worry because um you don't know what to expect, you know what I mean? Um, you don't know when they're going to rise again, how you're going to cope with it. We've got uh, three old-fashioned, the creedy type uh, storage eaters and we don't use them at all because uh, they run away with a lot of money and the heating efficiency isn't good with them. We're seeing everybody I think before it could be the pensioners um, because obviously they, they need support with warm home discounts, applications, things like that. But now we're seeing everybody from the working person who works full time to the normal single person living on their own in a bungalow. There's a lot of people who are digitally excluded who own their own home, who can't access them grants, who need the support, who didn't know we could offer that support as an organisation. The, the, the council really has made big strides to try and combat fuel poverty and, and they're certainly doing the best. For example, over 5,000 council owned properties are now fitted with solar panels. Almost 200 properties have had loft installations completed per year and that ultimately now leads to almost 95% of council on properties benefit from cavity wall insulation as well, because you know insulation is really key. It's that fabric first approach. It's about trying to keep that household as warm as possible. Because I'd, I'd, I'd be up for having solar panels on the roof and like triple glazing and stuff like that, just to bring the energy bills down if it's gonna help. If, if anything can be done to ease that burden, whether it be solar panels, heat pump, anything like that, then that's, that's what we should be doing. Instead of going to people, you can buy one, and you can buy one, and you can buy one, the government should go, right, go to the companies and go, right, we've got 20,000 houses, and they can all have heat pumps, and they're all fine to have them. What are you going to do? Yeah, they solar panels are on the roof as you can see i'm delighted with them i'm quite surprised at how efficient they are i'm getting cheaper bills and that keeps me smiling in the main december like to, you know through to christmas um the bill is always 300 pound the gas and the electric mm. so i'm hoping that when we get the next winter mm. that they come down a little bit now yeah. from easter we did feel a difference. I felt mm -hmm. a difference, you know, when I sat under the window. You know, it's, it's much warmer than it was before. Well, it's <laughs> lovely. I, I mean, mm -hmm. it really looks lovely from the outside, mm -hmm. like, you know, but also inside, I mean, with having to take the windows out and everything, we've got an extra window ledge mm -hmm. now. So, you know, they really look nice from inside yeah. as well as out. They look yeah. really, really smart now. As my husband would say, they look really posh. <laughs> they do, yeah.